So I was watching an 11U baseball game the other day and I noticed something that I wanted to bring up um, in this video and talk about because I thought it could have benefited uh, uh, one of the teams or both of the teams actually or, or any team around this age limit or anyone who's not implementing this strategy, uh, you should be. And what I noticed was one of the teams was whenever they had a guy on first and third, they were taking advantage every single time. They were stealing that guy at first to second. Um, and then they were, the guy was, uh, scoring home. Um, and the, 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 the team on defense didn't have a strategy, uh, to combat this. Um, so, you know, guys were, the guys were running halfway. If they did, if the catcher didn't throw it straight through the second, the guys would run halfway, uh, between first and second, hang out there until something happened. They just didn't know, they didn't know what to do and it was being effective. So they were either getting second base stolen, uh, very easily, or a lot of the times they were scoring home because the guy was throwing through. So we need to have first and third defense, just as the one team had, uh, first and third offense, they had a strategy. Obviously, the coach is giving signs for that guy to steal and telling the guy on third when to go or whatever. Uh, and it seemed like they had practiced it because they were pretty good and efficient at it. And they uh, they were successful 100% of the time, at least that I saw. So on the defensive side of that, we need to have a defense. We need to have a first and third defense. So anytime that we get runners on first and third, the catcher needs to come out and say, hey, listen up, eyes up, pay attention over here, get everyone's attention in the infield, and then give signs to tell us what type of first and third defense we're gonna use. Now, here's a few uh, examples. I'm not gonna give you examples of signs that the catcher can give. You can figure those out. Usually it's like uh, face, chest, um, glove. You know, those are like the hot signs for three different plays. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple different plays that you can implement, but you have to practice them in practice, so then when you get into the game, you can execute these plays depending on uh, the outcome that you're trying to achieve, right? The first one is a throw through, right? So we'll just have a throw through down to second base. We're trying to get the out at second. Maybe we're looking for outs and we don't really care as much for this run, maybe. Uh, another option you could have would be a cut play, whether the shortstop's cutting in front, uh, like where the cut of the grass is, and cutting the ball to second base, grabbing it and trying to throw the guy out at home, or maybe the pitcher. I've seen some guys uh, where the catcher throws it to the pitcher, back to the pitcher really hard. He looks like he's throwing it down a second, but he throws it to the pitcher really hard, and the pitcher tries to get him back out at home or get him in a rundown from third to first. I prefer uh, the shortstop over the pitcher, it's tough for a pitcher to do this because it's so close and for the catcher to sell it that way, I prefer the shortstop to do it. Shortstop, uh, you know, has a little bit better. You could also have the second baseman do it. Sec uh, shortstop could cover second base. It could go vice versa. Usually second baseman has a little bit better angle to cut across, get the cut, and he because he's looking at the runner at third base. So the, the second baseman cutting across could be a better option for that as well. Um, then you have a pump fake. So the catcher could pump fake down to second and then throw to third or hold it, read it, whatever he's got to do. So that could be a pump fake down to third. You could also have one just throwing back to third, you know, straight away. So instead of worrying about the guy at second, just boom, right to third, okay? So those are just a couple options. Typically, teams usually have three different ones. I probably gave you four or five there. Um, but, you know, decide what you guys want to work on. Have a couple of those. Uh, practice it before the games and then see what's working during the games and you can fine tune it over the years but you have to have a first and third defense right because otherwise you're just gonna you're not gonna know what to do and you're gonna be getting run over uh by teams who like to execute on the first and third by stealing second right and who are good base runners and that's what i saw the other day um and that's what i saw happen so uh learn your first and third defenses implement them practice them uh get good at them and then start getting guys out in games and and you're gonna be surprised to see uh, how many times you can get out uh, and get out of situations because you've practiced your first and third defense, especially on teams who try to take advantage of you. Don't let them do it. You know, you got that's what baseball is about. You got to be the better team. You got to be more knowledgeable. You got to be better uh, at executing on the things you're trying to do. I always, I had a coach that always said, um, you know, the team who makes the least amount of errors is going to win the game, the least amount of mistakes. And that's typically, typically true. If you can execute these plays, uh, first and third defenses, you can usually get an out, right? So as long as you don't make a mistake, you're probably going to get an out. And obviously the more outs you get before they score, <laughs> you got a better chance of winning. So that makes a lot of sense. I also had a coach say, 
Team that scores first takes the lead. That makes sense. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. If you got any questions, I know this one wasn't a question. I just saw it. I wanted to address it because I think it's an important issue. But if you have any questions, leave your question down below. I'd love to help answer them down there. Or if it's a great question, I'll make a video about it and answer it here. So thanks again so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.